everybody and welcome to another podcast with uh, Daniel Torczynski. Today my special guest is Mike Wilder, who is a member of the extended family and who also shares my passion for fostering creativity. Now Mike is a specialist when it comes to the research and development taxation credit programs. Now Mike, what exactly is research and development? Well, research and development is scientific and technical creativity. Um, it's almost using science and technology as art to build new kinds of things, develop new ways of doing things. And if you're a business in Canada and in Quebec, the government will give you money that you invested, give you back money that you invested in doing that. It's very interesting, but who exactly can apply for this? Anyone who has a business in Canada, anybody who's doing a research and development project, now, what qualifies for R&D can be a little specific, but it's, uh, you know, it's easy to explain to people how that works, and it's not difficult at all. Well, what would I need to do now if I wanted to apply for one of these programs? Well, the thing is, is that when you apply for the program, you apply when you file your corporate taxes at the end of the year. So, right now, you're just getting ready to do your year-end report, even though it's at the beginning. You want to document all your work. That's the difference between scientific... Uh, research scientific art and creativity and artistic creativity is that you really need to document your work, take pictures of everything, keep track of your time. Very important to keep track of the time that you put in the project, keep records of meetings and how many hours you put in, plus keeping all the receipts for things you buy and things mm -hmm. that get blown up. So why is time so important? Well that's a kind of a funny thing, a uh, funny thing, but an interesting thing in the program the government doesn't expect you to keep track of things like how many photocopies you made or you know how many hours a secretary had to put in keeping track. Mm. So in order to make up for that, whatever actual time the, the people who worked on the project do, the government will give you 165% of their salary to make up for the stuff like lighting, electricity you used. You don't have to apply for that. It all gets wrapped into the salaries. Mm -hmm. So the more salaries you can claim, the bigger the tax credit you can claim. And when exactly does all this happen? Well, every company has a different corporate year end. So everybody knows when they file their taxes. So when you close your year end, you're ready to start looking at filing your report. Well, it's all very interesting. If I could just sort of relate that over to you guys in layman's terms, what Mike does is he sort of translates um, the research and development, the creativity that you've done, in a way that the government programs were will be able to accept in the form of a report and give you money back for the work that you've done. Is that right, Mike? That's pretty much it, yeah. Well, Mike, thank you very much for being on the program. Great and, to be uh, here. Good luck with all your endeavors. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>